What's up guys? Today I want to answer the most common questions that I get about resin printing and just 3D printing in general. I've had a lot of success over on TikTok lately with my 3D resin printing stuff. I just want to give you guys the best information so you don't have to spend money on something that may not be what you're actually looking for. This entire video is going to be opinion. However, a lot of it will be backed just by straight up facts. Let's talk quality. When you're comparing the two, you can get amazing quality from a filament printer, but you're going to get better quality with a a resin printer. The main reason being is with a resin printer, you can have a smaller layer height, which means you can have more detail on edges and curves. Now, I've actually achieved really good detail with filament printer. Like, in fact, when I was doing it, I'm like, this is unbelievable how detailed this is. How could you need it to be more? And majority of people, you do not need more detail than a filament printer can already do. But then when I got to resin, I'm like, this is insane. Take a look at this hand. I printed this on a UV resin printer. Almost looks real if it wasn't just gray. You could even get fingerprint detail on there. I printed these teeny tiny astronauts on a UV resin printer. So for quality, in my opinion, you are going to get more detail with a resin printer. Next up, affordability. Because there's a clear winner, filament printers are a lot more affordable. You can get a entry level resin printer for 250 bucks, 300 bucks. The same goes with filament. So it's not the entry level costs that are going to be expensive for you. It's the ongoing maintenance and materials. For an example, $30, you can get an entire spool of filament, even cheaper off of like Amazon. And for that same price, you can only get one 500 milliliter bottle of UV resin. And it's the cheap kind. And when I say cheap kind, it's going to smell really strong. So for this category, no doubt filament wins. When you create something on a filament printer, it's pretty much done. You snap it off. Maybe you sand it slightly, but you have your piece. With resin, you're only halfway done at that point. You got to take it off the build plate, remove the supports. You got to soak it in isopropyl alcohol to get rid of all the extra UV resin. Then you got to cure it under UV lights. Then you got to sand it. It's just because of that post-processing cost alone, it almost becomes an entirely different hobby. Affordability, filament, 100% all the way. With resin printing, you got to continually buy isopropyl alcohol. You have to obviously buy UV resin, which is a lot more expensive. You have to buy the film for your vat, which I just did a video on this over on my TikTok, replacing that. I was able to create big projects on my filament printer that only cost like $700 for the same build volume, in fact, maybe smaller, I had to pay six grand for my big UV resin printer. So again, it's like they're hanging out in different worlds. You can get more detail on a UV resin printer. Let's talk user friendliness. How hard is it going to be to start? In my opinion, UV resin printing was easier to start. The only reason, relax, is with a filament printer, you have to level the bed out. You got to figure out the right heat for the nozzle. And if it's a heated bed, you got to figure out how hot to make that. Depending on your room temperature, that could also change the temperatures. A 3D resin printer all you do, you level the build plate once, pour in your resin, pop on the lid, and you hit print. I, I've done both from my experience. It was a lot easier to get started with UV resin printing, but it is so messy. It is the messiest DIY hobby I I've ever done. And God forbid you spill some on the floor and step in it and then walk around your house. It's very difficult to clean up. It's a very messy hobby. So you got to be very organized and clean when you're doing it. I had a lot more failures before I got a success on filaments than I did with resin. My very first print on a UV resin printer was this bulldog. Second one was this hand. The only time I ever had a failure on UV resin printer is if I'm topping up the resin during a print. Which one is safer? This is hard to compare because they both have their unsafe sides, okay? A filament printer has a really hot nozzle. You can burn yourself so easy. Now, granted, you're not going to really be touching the nozzle, but just for the category of safety, it does get very, very hot, easily hot enough to burn yourself. Also, you could potentially deal with toxic fumes from the melting plastic. So it's got to be done in a well-ventilated area. Now, when we're talking about UV resin, well, you've got the entire unsafe side of the chemicals that you're using from the UV resin to the isopropyl alcohol. It's just there's a lot of chemicals that are involved that if you're not wearing protective equipment, you can really cause damage to your skin. They're both dealing with plastics, but on opposite ends. With filament, you're going from hard plastic to soft to then hard again. With resin, you're going from liquid plastic to then cured to hard. So it's kind of like they're, they're, they're opposites. In general, personally, UV resin printing is way more beneficial for me and what I'm looking to do. But with that being said, if you don't need like very, very fine detail, you can get amazing detail with a filament printer. But when it comes to doing 
art and making molds, you want to have the cleanest, flattest lines possible. And you're going to get that with a UV resin printer. Speed UV resin printing. Check this out. This drip mouth that I'm making right now on a UV resin printer takes 37 hours to print large scale. That same size will take you 10 days on a filament printer. The main reason is a filament printer has one nozzle that just goes around. With UV resin printing, it does an entire layer in seconds. It goes poof. It flashes the black light, it cures one layer of solid resin, it lifts up, goes back down, flashes the next layer, so it's significantly faster. When we're talking about the biggest downside of UV resin printing, it's how messy it is. If you're using really cheap UV resin, which most people will be doing because after a while it gets very expensive, that stuff can smell up your entire house. Whereas with my filament printer, I never smelled it ever. So that's my takeaway from experiencing both filament and UV resin printing. Depending on what you're looking for, both of them can meet your needs. And depending on what your budget is, you can get amazing printers in both categories. Have some fun with it. If you guys want to see more 3D resin printing, head over to my TikTok, which is where I'm, I'm producing a ton of content over there. And we've talked about this. It's just because the algorithm loves me a lot more on TikTok than it does YouTube. I'm still creating on YouTube, but I find my videos have to be a lot more on topic. Whereas TikTok can just be like, boom, here's me changing the film in a vat. You know, a quick one minute thing. If you guys have any questions, please comment down below. I'll try my best to answer them. But this is my opinion. This is my takeaway on the 3D printing world and my experience with it. So thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll see you in my next video. See you guys later.